We were discussing previously beam uses. 3D coordination is definitely a very important beam use here in this project. So this is how the section in Planoly looks like, where we explain the potential value, the resources required. We explain into greater detail what we expect from the 3D coordination. Also, since the very beginning on our beam execution plan, we had one section about our coordination goals. And on those coordination goals, we were discussing visual issues detection. And we also had our clash matrix that was explicitly here. And that clash, clash matrix was by discipline. So on the left side, we see those coordination goals. On the right side, those were some initial, initial schemes that were done uh, along with the designers to help understand the levels and the placement in different areas of the projects of the different disciplines and the different systems inside the building in a section. This was also published in the BIM execution plan and was there for everyone to check. During the project, which is lasting already for two years and will probably last for as much already went through, uh, we are having the weekly or fortnightly coordination, BIM coordination meetings with the different teams. And so this is a close up on one of the projects that is the one that is most advanced at this point. So this is already a coordinated model or an ongoing coordination model of all disciplines. Except for architecture, we're looking mainly here at MEP and structural. During those BIM coordination meetings, we were planning the minutes of meeting inside Planoly, and we were discussing the coordination issues that we found with the teams and discussing whether they were relevant or not, etc. By the end of the detailed design, there were still many issues to be solved, and those issues had to be solved regularly during the eight-week period. So this is the timeline for that eight-week period where we treated all the issues Discipline by discipline, level by level, week after week, seeing the progress and the changes in the model. So that was very interesting to see that all the designers were collaborating on a, at a very quick pace to solve the major issues that came from the design phase. This is a glimpse of those minutes of meetings for every weekly meeting on that coordination phase. And on the right side, you can see how one of those agenda slash meeting minutes look like inside Splannerly.